happening? Because uh, the National Film and Archives discovered that, that we'd lost the negative, or someone had lost the negative, so it became a lost film. So they, very nice of them, they, gave, they took one of the 35mm prints, in, well there's only two in existence, and, and digitised it for me, so I whacked it on the Final Cut Pro and started attacking it again, see? So I cut some bits out that I always hated, put some bits in, fixed up some sound, you know, and, uh, and then we decided to uh, do something a bit different, so we extended the film. It's one of those films you can almost do anything with it because it's quite out there. 100 films made every year in the 80s, through from 1982 to 1990. 100 films a year at least, yeah. all under the 10BA, which gave opportunity until the bankers and the lawyers discovered it and then ripped it off. Um, uh, but and at that time it gave everybody an opportunity. Yeah, we had some great films come out of that. And since then what, you know, what have we got now? You know, 10 films a year? Yeah. It's the infrastructure, there's no infrastructure to make films here. Script writers have got to be taxi drivers to stay, to earn a living. Uh, you know, uh, the, how do you go and pitch a film to get it financed? You can't, you know. Um, you, you've, got, you've got several government agencies that, that are supposed to officiate this sort of thing and, and offer opportunity for script development to young filmmakers. In Canada, they put a, a levy on, on ticket, ticket price and on advertising revenue off television. They pull that up, they put actors in charge of that and, and filmmakers in charge of that, not bureaucrats. And they've got a terrific industry. And we don't, we don't really care for our industry. Where there's a certain amount of apathy towards Australian production still, which stems from the media and the distribution people. And, and we really need to start caring about our, our industry and the talent, we lose it. If we were to pull all of the great actors we've got that are Australian back into Australia and throw them in a few films every year, we'd have some box office success. Yes, I mean, you, know, look, you know, money is still, you know, the prime objective for getting anything up and running. You know, you can sell, you can sell rubbish with money behind it. Opportunity should be given to, to foster talent. You know, you've got all the film schools under the sun churning out, churning out graduates into what jobs? <laughs> Well, yes, but yeah, you know, I mean, that's fantastic, but we need, we need to be able to um, get an industry rolling that's got all the right infrastructure, you know, starting from the grass root area where, where you can get script development, because without a script, you haven't got a film. So without writers, you've got nothing, and we need to get quality writers going. Well, we really felt we had something, um, well, well, we did, and we st I still feel it's got its, its place in the world. It, it, <clears throat> It was, a, it was a genre that nobody had really had a crack at. You know, a, a heavy metal science fiction musical. I mean, you know, just, the, just that conjures some, you know, some madness out. But, you know, there was Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, that was the sort of uh, idea um, to, try and, to try and bring uh, a, a real rock and roll musical from Australia. And, and market it around the world. And, and we, it was at a time when Australian music had, had done all the footwork and broken through, you know, bands like In Excess and ACDC. And uh, so it, it should have succeeded, but it, it, it unfortunately didn't. And, and that was a, a lot, a lot behind that was to do with the reason of its failure, um, was to do with one, the, uh, the, the lack of the budget problems, where we started with $3 million, but before we got to shoot the film, we only had. Um, uh, 800 odd thousand so by the time we finished it we had no money left so that's mortgage your house time and all the rest of it um, to, to finish the post-production then you've got to market it all Australian films have the same problem they get to that point and we go right now we're going to sell it and they go we've got no money oh the AFC and they go you know here's you know five dollars fifty off you go you know um, and so you try and take it to various festivals and things to get to get it some air um, but you know it's a flaw. It's flawed because you know it's it's had a budget that's less than the, the catering budget of an American film. Happening. Hey.